Trucker Todd here. I want to talk to you today about truck parking. For as long as I can remember, and I've been driving since 1996, some truck stops have had a gated parking lot where you paid to park there. Typically, they would waive the parking fee if you bought 50 gallons of diesel or if you spent $25 in the store. Otherwise, you were subject to usually around a $10 to $12 parking fee. Some companies would reimburse for this and some companies would not. And that it was generally like in Ontario, California, Atlanta, Georgia, more so in the Northeast where there's a lot more congestion and less opportunities for parking. Now, in the last few years, what we've seen is especially TA Petro has started offering premium parking where you get to park a little closer and it's usually like 10 or 12 bucks a night. The problem is if you go rolling into a truck stop at between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m., there usually is no free parking options left and you're forced to park in this premium parking. Most companies are not reimbursing for this premium parking either, so it's a cost you as a driver have to absorb if you choose to park there. Now, while I think it is definitely the truck stop's uh, right to charge, it's private property, they're a business, they're there to make money, ethically, I think they're a little challenged. We all claim we want the roads to be safer, but we're creating a financial obstacle to a guy that just wants to get some rest. What I would suggest is that they change it to where if you buy some diesel, they're kind of like the gated parking, or you spend so much in the store that on your rewards card over time, you earn free premium parking spots. But to the best of my knowledge, nobody is offering this at this point. Now, what you have to remember, too, we're mandated to take a 10-hour break. So, that's another thing. We have to stop somewhere. And with all the rest areas closing and all the things that's going on in trucking, it's getting harder and harder to find a place to park. And so, I, I really hope this is something they will address. And I don't know how we can bring this to their attention, maybe email them or something like that. But it's definitely something to look at. Even Walmarts, which used to be a staple of a place you could park a truck, now, especially in Kentucky, they've started booting the trucks and finding the drivers, telling them we're going to charge you $500 to unboot your truck or we're going to call a tow truck. Now, this is at Walmarts with no no truck parking signs. I can understand if there was a no truck parking sign there, but there's no sign present. It's places that truckers have typically been able to park, and now all of a sudden, without notice, they're not allowing it no more. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, trucks take up a lot of parking spaces, and that's why we have to do this. No, these guys were parked at the farthest out position of the parking lot, along with RVs, and the RVs weren't booted or tagged. Now, Walmart claims they knocked on the doors, but you can bet that if they did knock, it wasn't a very loud knock, because this is a good racket. You get four or five trucks at 500 apiece, you've made a pretty good income that evening. Also, another thing to keep in mind about this is... These were paying customers. These weren't freeloaders that were just staying in the lot. These guys, uh, one of them in particular had bought like 50 or $70 worth of groceries. And so they're not just freeloaders that are in the parking lot. And now back to the subject of truck stops. One more thing I want to say about them is not only are they charging for parking in a lot of places now, but what are you actually getting when you go inside? Roller wieners that have been there for 8 or 10 hours. Fast food that is nasty most of the time. So I just, I'd really like to see truck stops in general step their game up. And I'd be curious to think, see what you guys think about it as well. 
So either leave a comment below or my email will be in the description. Shoot me an email. Tell me what you think about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.